On Tuesday, July 23rd, a dramatic hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone National Park sent visitors fleeing in terror. The sudden eruption of steam, rock and mud created a chaotic and baffling scene, even for scientists who study such phenomena. This recent event propelled material 61 metres or 200 feet high. Rock fragments that were plastered with acidic geothermal water rained down on tourists, but thankfully no one was hurt. The explosion at the Biscuit Basin Thermal Area sent a dark cloud into the air as guests ran for safety. These events, considered one of the most important and least understood geological hazards, pose significant challenges to researchers. This event is known as a hydrothermal explosion, and it is not a volcanic eruption. They occur when hot water in a volcanic system turns to steam in a confined space, causing a rapid expansion and a crater-forming eruption. These events can be violent and dramatic, with debris propelled over a mile high or 1.6 kilometers and as far as 2.5 miles or 4 kilometers away. While the recent explosion at Yellowstone damaged a boardwalk, fortunately no injuries were reported. Despite the dramatic nature of the explosion, the US Geological Survey has reassured the public that this does not indicate an impending volcanic eruption. Yellowstone, which houses a supervolcano, remains safe for the time being. Hydrothermal explosions, while startling, are not uncommon in geothermal areas and do not necessarily signal larger volcanic activity. At times, hydrothermal explosions can be massive. Yellowstone is home to some of the largest known hydrothermal explosion craters on Earth, including Mary Bay, Turbid Lake, and Elliott's Crater. These craters were formed thousands of years ago and serve as a warning of the power of these explosions. The largest hydrothermal explosion in Yellowstone's history is the formation of Mary Bay, located northeast of Yellowstone Lake. This explosion created a massive crater approximately 1.5 miles or 2.4 kilometers wide around 13,000 years ago. Fortunately, hydrothermal explosions of this magnitude are rare. The scientist in charge at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory explained that most hydrothermal explosions are small and often go unnoticed. Despite their potential for violence, there have been no recorded fatalities or injuries from these events. However, he cautioned that being close to an explosion is extremely dangerous due to the flying rock, mud and boiling water. Hydrothermal explosions can occur anywhere where there is hydrothermal activity, such as at Yellowstone, New Zealand, Iceland and Chile to name a few. Predicting hydrothermal explosions remains a significant challenge for scientists. There is still uncertainty about whether these events can be forecasted. Large explosions capable of leaving craters the size of football fields can be expected every few hundred years, and are often triggered by seismic events like earthquakes. Despite ongoing research, the unpredictable nature of these explosions makes it difficult to provide advance warnings. It is important to differentiate hydrothermal explosions from volcanic eruptions. Unlike volcanic eruptions, which are caused by magma rising towards the Earth's surface, hydrothermal explosions result from the rapid expansion of steam within a confined space. This makes them far more common than lava or ash eruptions. Magma, which is molten or semi-molten rock found beneath the Earth's surface, is not directly involved in hydrothermal explosions. Concerns about Yellowstone's supervolcano erupting are understandable given its history and potential impact. However, hydrothermal explosions are not indicators of an impending supervolcano eruption. Yellowstone's underground volcanic system would likely show decades of warning signs before an eruption, including multiple large earthquakes, changes in hot spring chemistry, and gradual ground shifts. These changes would provide ample warning before any significant volcanic activity. While an eruption of Yellowstone's supervolcano is expected at some point in the future, it is unlikely to happen for thousands of years. When it does occur, it is anticipated to resemble the 2018 eruption of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, rather than a catastrophic event. However, if a super eruption were to occur, the consequences would be severe, including widespread loss of life, environmental devastation, and long-term climate changes. Millions would be affected and the aftermath would be challenging for humanity to endure. In summary, the recent hydrothermal explosion at Yellowstone, while dramatic, does not signal an impending supervolcanic eruption. Scientists continue to study these events to better understand and predict them, but for now, Yellowstone remains safe for visitors, who can continue to marvel at its unique geothermal features. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. 
I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon, or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.